Hi, I'm Corn Milk, and yes, I just got lost in my own redstone Minecraft world. So this looks weird, but in my opinion, it is absolutely genius. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first things first, you notice how like this doesn't, I, I don't have, I don't need to have glass run, I don't need to do my trick that I did all the way over here. Just gonna, don't, I don't need to do the trick where I uh, stick this in front of it and surround it because, okay, so I, you know, I read comments. I, I always read the comments. The comments are fun. Um, and so one of you, where did I, where's my project? There's my project. Okay. This is the problem with having a redstone world is I keep getting lost. All right. One of you said that if the water will always flow to the lower block. So if I just break one here, boom, no spilling over the sides. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Okay. Magic. Ah. Anyway. Um, so you might notice, hey, this this is a special kind of skulk sensor. I, I, I heard about the calibrated skulk sensor and my brain kind of went, ooh, sure sounds like fun. Um, because basically it's a skulk sensor that you can make listen to only some sorts of sounds, which is great, honestly. It's great. Um, so, um, and those sounds depend. Hold on, let me just sign this test book. These depend on a level of redstone signals. Um, so like one is just walking around. So hold on. you have to stick it in this side. Um, it's a comparator. So this is one. So you see, I'm walking around, I'm doing things, it's activated. However, see how it can't hear me anymore. I, it can't hear me because well, it can't hear me walking, it can hear me jumping, because two is like jumping and falling and stuff. And three, see, it can't hear me at all right now. It does not hear me. And that's because three, I think, is using an item. Hold on, let me get, uh, like, a fishing rod or something. I might be wrong. I might be. Yeah, okay, so three is using an item. So I'm going to figure out what all of them are, and I'm going to set up a nice little grid. Um, and I'll get back to you about it. all of them but I figured out a lot of them so one is moving and two is jumping and three this is a little harder to explain it's using an item so like if I brush then it activates four I, I, I don't know five I think it's equip armor um it's not de equip armor golf armor that's what it's called but it is equip armor um six no idea um, seven is like, seven, I figured it out, because like, if you, uh, if you break a minecart or a boat, or also if you damage something, um, lots of puffer fish died for this. <laughs> and then eating food, goes off, no clue, no clue. Lock updates. This one is interesting, and I think this is the one I want to play with, but like, if I take the book or if I place the book. And then you can also do it with a campfire, which we'll get back to, because I think that's really interesting. Um, this is breaking a block or removing a liquid. So this, and then if I have water here, and then I take it, that's like counts as breaking a block, sort of. It makes sense in my head. Um, and then this is, as you can see, placing a block. And then this is interesting because it's 
Um, it, 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 it says breaking there, but like if I, if I place a mine cart or a boat, boats are easier, boats, boats you can just place anywhere really. But like, yeah, so it's placing. I knew it was that I just wrote the wrong thing, but like placing a mine cart or a boat, um, which if we go back to the one that's like breaking a Minecraft or a boat or damage. So when I figured out that one was damage, I figured, Hey, what if this one was like the reverse of damage? Well, not the reverse. I'm not making a lot of sense, but what if this one was like something being created? So yeah, sorry, pufferfish. And then as you can just see, um, the last one is just straight up death. Um, so I think this is really cool. I think this is so cool. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to figure out, something with this. Obviously, I'm not going to use the first two because those are, you know, kind of easy. But I really have been looking at the block updates one. So we're going to put something together. All right, so I've built something. Basically, um, campfire is easiest, honestly. Uh, so if I stick a campfire here, and then say I put some potatoes on it, it opens and closes. Well, because, you know, it opens, but then it, the problem is it closes too fast for me to actually do anything with it, because as you can see here, I'm trying to make a very simple piston door, and I, 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 I can't walk through fast enough. So I need to figure out how to make this last more, because what's happening is this is giving out a pulse, um, the annoying thing about that is that, uh, pulse is very short. So, and it, you can also see it's activated by them falling off on the other side, too. So we're gonna do some more thinking, and figure some stuff out, and probably just, just gonna shit all of these up. Could have... It was only so long. I can take this. Finally. Looks weird, but I have some peace and quiet. Let's get back to work. Alright, gang. Um, so this is something I don't quite know how to do yet. I spent a good a good amount of time flipping around. But I Legitimately cannot figure out how to make this last longer. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go break that one. So I can't figure out how to make it last longer. So this is just gonna be, you know, a feature of the door is that you gotta be real close and go and go real fast. It's 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 not a bug. It's a feature. It's not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> All right. Um. Maybe I should turn auto jump off for this. Yeah, you just have to have auto jump off when you're doing this. And move very fast. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. It's not a bug, it's a feature. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Now let's, let's... Wait a minute. I think I can do something with this. I think I can do something with this. All right. All right. So if you look over here, we've got this very nice, very cute, very simple, I admit this is not my best build, campfire. Um, you know, with a little fire pit of people doing stuff. And you might be wondering, hey, what's this moss? And it's, it is solely for decorational purposes. Definitely solely for decorational purposes. But anyway, um, this is a great way. Yes, because if you see, if I go up and I put it, it, it makes a hole. Oh my gosh, there's a hole here. And you see, this wood, you might, you can see a latest death mark down there. Um, but you see, uh, this is a great way to prank your friends. And it could also be, you know, like a secret door, except I'm in a flat world, so I can't go down that far. Oh no, I broke my own house. No, uh, but it, it, it could have been a secret door. I'm just in a flat world, so it, I just prank, drop in the void. 
Um, so anyway, um, it, it works with the skulk sensor and block updates because if I were to break my glorious redstone, well, not break any of it, but like come back here, um, you'll see I've got my uh, sensor hooked up so that this book, if you go to read the book, this book is on page 11. And if we'll go back all the way over here, 11 is block updates, like the campfire and the lectern. So when we update the campfire, when we update, when we update the campfire, um, this can hear when we update the campfire. And then what it does is it sends the signal around and it retracts these pistons and then you fall very nicely into the void. Um, but say you're feeling more polite than that. You can definitely also turn this into a secret door. Um, I'm just lazy and more less inclined to just build up so I can make this a legitimate secret door. Um, so anyway. Secret door, and it sends you into sneak mode. Anyway, I think what we built today is pretty cool, or at least what I built and you watch. And you know what? Never mind. We're just gonna we're just gonna pause there. But anyway, um, I I've had, I've enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you in my corner of the internet sometime soon. See you next time, maybe.